Okay, I'm going to show you how to finish your stitching and tie a knot so that your stitch does not come undone and your work stays on the fabric. So you finished, your last stitch is going to end up coming through to the back. So I'm going to pretend like I'm finishing up my last stitch. My needle's going to the back of the fabric. Okay, now on the back, remember this is the ugly part because it's got your knot. We're going to finish off back there too, tying a knot so that what we've done doesn't come undone. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to go underneath a stitch that I've already made. I'm going to make a loop. Once I've gone under that stitch, it's going to create a loop. And then I'm going to go inside that loop and I'm going to pull. And that, once I pull it, is going to make the knot right there. And I'm going to do it again a couple of times. Two or three is going to make sure that your stitching does not come undone. So I'm going inside a stitch. It creates a loop. I'm going to go through the loop and pull. And then I can cut my thread pretty close to that knot. Make sure not to clip on it. And my stitch is done. So once you're finished, you should be able to have a running stitch with your initials and your class period should be done in a back stitch. So initials with the running stitch, class period with the back stitch.